Eight, uh, backup goaltender was in and really it uh, was a was an unfair competition there. The North Stars drastically outgunned in that contest. Uh, can't remember what the shots were in the second period, but somehow 36 to two kind of sticks in my head and I hope it wasn't quite that lopsided, but it was very, very lopsided. Tonight, it's the Yellowhead Chiefs come calling and the Chiefs having a great campaign this year. They were a strong team last year. They're better this year. They're sitting right now in second place in the AAA League, just behind the Winnipeg Wild and ahead of the Winnipeg Thrashers. The Wild and Thrashers not playing uh, in the Manitoba AAA Midget Hockey League this weekend. They're down in Grand Forks, uh, playing in the uh, Midget Showdown Tournament down there. And they played some games. Uh, the Thrashers have won a couple, one against the Wild 3-2 this afternoon. Uh, the Wild are still looking for their first win in a couple of games. They dropped a 5-2 decision yesterday uh, to a team out of Minnesota. Actually, it was the Thrashers that beat Minnesota. The Wild uh, dropped the game to the OHA squad. So we're going to be here with the uh, opening period in just a moment. The Norman North Stars taking on the Yellowhead Chiefs. We'll be back with more. You're listening to Norman North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and Thompson Online. comes in with a pretty strong, uh, impressive record here. The Norman North Stars have played them twice so far this season, uh, losing both times down uh, down south. A 7-3 loss on October 23rd. During the now if everyone could please stand, remove your hats. And then uh, exactly one week later, they dropped another game, that one I think 9-2 uh, down there. Now we have our national anthem.
like to tell you that that you was program, uh, the uh, the local uh, chapter of, of some group here, but just a recording of O Canada, and that uh, part of the official opening ceremony is out of the way. Norman Northstar is kind of short uh, staffed here this evening as they have a number of players that are out, including their backup goaltender, uh, Braden Malstead, is out, and uh, so Coley will be backed up by Brass. Some call-ups up, call from the... Uh, from the uh, midget uh, double A's. Uh, Logan Evans is also in the lineup wearing number three. Sheldon Howard in the lineup wearing number five. Out is Blacksmith, Drew Tate Riom. Uh, Michael Venn is gonna be out for a while yet and Hunter Halcro out as well. Now at the first period, here is Bruce Cameron. Well, thank you, Tom. And the second place Yellowhead Chiefs in front of us here tonight. The referee for today's game will be Brett Florence, Matt Violet. The lines are done by Barry Rempel, Jack Kennedy. And the Yellowhead are coming off a Three straight wins. The North Stars trying to break a two-game losing streak. In net for the Norman North Stars will be Alan Cole. He's coming in with a 6.11 goals against. And Reese Jones over there for the Yellowhead Chiefs coming in with a 2.78 goals against. And we are underway here this afternoon. And there's the first shot on Jones. No problem with that one. That was from well out. Puck dumped in by the Norman North Stars. Into the corner it goes, and there quickly are the North Stars battling in behind the net of the LF Chiefs, trying to center that puck out there with Sketch, and that was picked off. Chiefs still can't get it out. Sketch did some nice, nice work along the boards. There's Berard, got it back to Ross. He banks it off the boards, trying to get it in deep. Now it's on to Berard's stick, looking for Sketch. Sketch got it in the slot, could not get the shot off. And Linkletter couldn't get a shot off either, and the puck now cleared out to center. Falling down on the play there was North Stars and now it's along the far boards. Now it's gobbled up and the uh, Yellowhead Chiefs having a pretty good year sitting in a very lofty spot in the second spot in the Manitoba AAA Hockey League. And there's a first whistle of the game, an icing call, and that one goes against the Yellowhead Chiefs. Well, the uh, Chiefs are sitting in second spot. They got 32 <coughs> points, four back of the Winnipeg Wild. Both those teams playing 22 games. The Thrasher's not far behind with 30 points. Uh, they do have a game in hand. And uh, well, Thrasher's have been probably the hottest team. They and the Brandon Wheat Kings, as of late, they've really moved up in the standings in the last few weeks. And just an update, they're playing the States in a, a tournament, and they picked up a victory over the uh, Winnipeg Wild, so yeah. they are improving quite a bit. Yeah. Now the Chiefs get out into the center ice area, lugging that puck up along the boards there into the North Stars end as Gillis gets, gets it over the line. Going to be a real feather in the cap of the Norman North Stars. They could take a, a win or two away from the Yellowhead Chiefs. Nychuk takes a shot. That's deflected high into the air, and now it's Murray getting the puck out. North Star's a little short. They have some injuries, some suspensions here tonight. There's a shot on. Coley makes his first save of the game. And we had a little extra cricketer there after that whistle. I think there'll be a player or two maybe going off. Maybe not. I thought maybe there might be some incidentals there, but two minutes, 10 seconds into this uh, opening period. Yeah, Murray is going to the uh, penalty box. Only one penalty against the Mor Norman North Stars as Murray Took a little extra shot there. He was the last guy to do it. And the North Stars, that is their nemesis as special teams. They uh, are not able to really compete on special teams very well. So I just see the... Uh, I think they got a last change here is the North Stars. I think they want that guy back. The referee's in front of the box there, and he's looking for get that guy to send him back off, and he's going back off now. So it's Nychuk coming back on. Yeah. Now we're ready Tibbets. to go here. So the North Star is down a skater here just a couple minutes into this opening period. Galarno out there to kill this off. Uh, he's got Stuckless on the forward. As the Yellowhead Chiefs setting up their power play here. Moving that puck around. There's a shot. That one deflected off a leg. Still in there, though, is the Yellowhead Chiefs. Working that puck around. This one's off the board. Right past Richmond and down the ice it goes. Stuckless gives chase. But uh, Reese Jones comes out of the net and plays it. North Stars making a change there. Now Sketch coming on. Stuckless coming off. And the Chiefs coming up here now with a pass to Valinsko coming over the line. 
Back to the point it goes, onto the stick of Geeky. He'll play it across. Right into the slot area on the stick of Muir. There's a scramble in front. Muir gets a weak shot away, and the puck goes in behind. Geeky trying to center the puck. Now he'll go right back to the to his defenseman. Now it's a pass across on the stick of Muir. And now Sketch gets a hold of it, takes a look, trying to knock that puck out. Couldn't get it past Richmond. Back to Geeky, back to Richmond. Now Burrard intercepted it for the North Stars and he'll clear it. 40 seconds gone, le or left in the penalty here with 16.27 left here in the first. And we are still scoreless. And here's the Chiefs coming out of their own zone. Up the right side they go. Good check there by Stuckless laying a hit there on Heaney. And the North Stars clear it. Coming up here is Nychuk up on the left side, crosses over, trying to center that puck though, then he couldn't do it, and the North Stars again clear it, and they're gonna have a, a successful kill here in three seconds. Now the North Stars get their man on, they're at even strength. Parker banks it off the boards, Linkletter chips it in, and the Chiefs are forced back. Now he was stripped of the puck, Burrard centers the puck right in front, just catch with a shot, and that, Jones got a piece of it there as he was going high. Linkletter turns, fires it in. That was a bouncing puck, and that's handled easily there by Jones. In behind the goal is Hino. Hino, Hino got it over, and now they'll play it up on the left side. North Stars get it back in. Garrett getting it over the line. There's the Chiefs coming back. They got it over the North Stars blue line. There's a weak shot on. Coley hangs on to it. He's not going to take any chances and uh, get a stoppage in play. And we'll take that opportunity to go for a break. No score here the first five minutes of this game. You're listening to the North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and thompsononline.ca. Well, welcome back, everybody. Still no score. We got a nice call against the uh, Yellowhead Chiefs. They're going to bring it all the way back. They'll drop that puck to the left side of goaltender Reese Jones. Our man, North Stars have four wins so far this season. The Yellowhead Chiefs, four losses in regulation time. That puck is onto the stick there of Mowbray, and he'll clear it down. No icing on the play, and it's down in the North Stars' end. Right now, Stuckless bodied along the boards. Pinching in along the boards is Heapy for the Yellowhead Chiefs. And now the North Stars recover the loose puck and play it out to the center. That's gobbled up by Richmond. He'll take it over and then he's body to the ice there by Monje. And there's going to be a penalty coming here. I think this will go against Monje as he was the guy that was involved there. Looks like an interference call. The second penalty now against the North Stars. They were able to get away with the first one, uh, Murray, early in this game. Now Monje going off. The North Stars get scored on about one every four power play chances that they give up. And on the other side of the ledger, the Yellowhead Chiefs are good about one out of every five times that they get the extra skater. So odds are the North Stars are not going to win the uh, special teams battle if they don't win the penalty battle. Puck go to the, to the line, cleared in there by Richmond. Pilon trying to bank it off the boards and get it out. Back comes the Richmond. Played in the Greek, Geeky. Back out to Richmond. Geeky on the far point, takes the pass, tees it up, takes the shot. That's off of Pilon and deflects away. Sketch couldn't get his man Balinski to the way. There's, a, there's Geeky at the side, a shot on the short side. And Coley got over there and closed that door and wouldn't let that in. So that. Still holding them out. A minute 22 left on the penalty and 13.32 to go here in the first. 
One of the things the North Stars have been a little more successful at this evening uh, is limiting the second shot opportunities and third shot opportunities. Coley can make that first save. It's making the third and fourth save that sometimes can be a challenge for a goaltender. And so far, the North Stars have been pretty good about moving that puck around and getting it out. North Stars cleared all the way down. Now that forces the Yellowhead Chiefs back. Now they're moving up on the right side. Here's a pass over right across the rink. That's Heaney down with it, and he lost it, and the North Stars clear it once again. Down the ice it goes, and the Chiefs. Good four check in there by Stuckless, keeping the Yellowhead Chiefs pinned down there a little bit. Now the Chiefs come up on the right side. Across the line, that's Hino with it. Now the puck going over the line. North Stars doing a good job of keeping those uh, Yellowhead Chiefs from crashing in there. And now it's cleared back down into the Yellowhead's end of the rink. They're a quick team though, they get out fast. North Stars keeping them off balance here, not letting the Chiefs get a chance to set up. but. Now it's on the far side, Logan Evans, who's brought up by the King Miners out there to kill this off, along with uh, Murray, and Murray clears it out, out, and there's a partial break, Lange getting in there, trying to fight off a check, gets a weak backhander away, but Reese Jones managed to get his glove on it, but he was being bothered there by a checker from the Yellowhead Chiefs and he couldn't get that great shot. Well, that was pretty interesting there as Monje wasn't really expecting that, but he just kind of came out and the puck got kind of tipped and just wobbled in front of him and he didn't really have much of a, a lead and wasn't really able to get to that puck to his forehand and get a good shot on Jones. Puck cleared around the boards and Alex Murray was there to stop that puck. And it was played back, but the puck comes out and down into North Star's end. Ross gets it up along the boards there to uh, Rambo. Rambo couldn't get it out. Now that's off of Murray and out it goes to center. Lemoyne takes it down, takes his shot, and that's wide. And now it goes around the boards, and Heapy is forced back inside his own line for the Yellowhead Chiefs. There's a pass that missed his target and that goes all the way into North Star's end of the rink. Right in behind the net, Berard picks it off. He plays it around, trying to hit Sketch. got a hold of him, now Sketch got it. Couldn't get any skating room though, but Berard does and now here's Berard. His shot is a little bit wide of the goal. Out comes the Chief Gillies firing the puck in as he's been given a bump there by Link Letter. There's a pass out. That was intercepted. Pilon tried to clear it. Well, Pilon takes his man out behind the North Star net. Chief's in there on the four check. Nychuk with his shot. That's bouncing around inside the North Star's line. Recovered here by the Chiefs. In behind the goal, trying to center the puck. Now Sketch picks it off. Now Sketch made one too many moves, lost the puck. Pilon bodied up along the far boards there by uh, Johnson. Nychuk plays the puck in deep inside the North Stars line. Back to Nychuk. Got the North Stars here pinned down pretty good in there. Still can't get the puck out. Belcher bodied in there, working the puck along the boards there, along with Berard down in behind Coley. And now he's got a hold of it, takes the shot, and a good stop there by Coley as uh, Belcher won the battle in behind the net. And Coley made the save as he brought the puck out. And now the North Stars get some players on, some fresh legs there, because they were really tired at the end of the shift. Now it's cleared into the Yellowhead Chiefs zone. We're a long time between whistles here. Banked off the board by Woodley, out in the center ice area. Logan couldn't get anywhere. Now that here comes the Chiefs once again. Galinsky in behind the net. He lost control of the puck. Gets it up to Galerno. He'll make a pass out to the center ice area to Manje. Manje coming up along the boards on the left side. 
Gets it over. Stucklis gets a shot away. Puck laying there and it rolls into the behind the net. Richmond in battling in back there. Off the boards. Still not in there, not cleared. Bonje keeps it in. Not for very long. And it's chipped back out. And that forces Logan back for it. Logan Evans. Brought up by the King Miners. Getting lots of ice time here in this early going. Puck is cleared all the way down. And the North Stars making some changes right now. And the Yellowhead Chiefs making some changes as well. And the North Stars coming out. Pilon coming up on the left side. Puck intercepted there and gobbled up there by Mowbray. Mowbray battling in behind the net. Given a bump there by what you're going to want to be right there. And now it's coming out along the right side. Hustling over there was uh, trying to pick off that puck was Howard. And now it's the Chiefs over the line. Here comes the Chiefs. There's a shot on and they score. <clears throat> this one, Tibbetts getting the goal. North Stars having all sorts of trouble there trying to control the puck and Malinsky finished it off, and they got them up by one. Well, we'll be in our take a break. It's now 1-0 for the Chiefs. 7.52 to go here in the opening period. You're listening to North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and thompsononline.ca. Scored his ninth goal of the season here. Got him up one to nothing. And here comes the North Stars in now. Bringing it down on that side there was Nepetabo. He's got it on his stick right now. That shot doesn't make it through. Back to the point it goes. Evans keeping it in along the boards. And now it's going to be the Chiefs coming right out. <clears throat> coming right back. Lemoyne coming down on that side. On the left side. Takes the shot and it's wide. Evans bodied along the boards here and is picked off there by Nipitabo. The Parker backed, it goes to Evans. Evans being watched along the boards there by Lemoyne. Yellowhead Chiefs covering much of this game. They've got much of the territorial part of the game. Shots are nine to seven. But the North Stars haven't been much of a threat here in this first period yet. Nychuk. Goes to the right side, onto the stick of Johnson. There's a body there, knocked over. There was Parker. Picked off, walking right in, bang, top corner. This Belcher getting the goal. A giveaway by the North Stars turns it into a 2 0 lead for the Yellowhead Chiefs. Well, I have to tell you, Bruce, sometimes you just feel sorry for the North Star netminder. Uh, there's no reason why that puck should even be in their own zone half the time, and it still is because uh, they just, I don't know, they just don't get it out, I guess. And and uh, that was a golden opportunity. North Stars have kind of been able to hold their own, but all of a sudden uh, the chances just keep mounting up, and, you know, a few of them are going to go in. Uh, just to give you the official on that first one, it was Tibbetts from Mowbray and Hino, and now Belcher here has the team up 2 nothing. And Belcher with his uh, fifth of the season. Unassisted, Bruce. And that was unassisted, so there you go. Well, North Stars back on their heels here in the first period. Puck played around behind the North Star net. Ross punches it through the Carrick, and he gets it across, and he gets it on the Stuckless, who gets it out, trying to hit Andre. <coughs> Another giveaway there as Belinsky picks it off. Belinsky coming in, takes a shot. Puck rolling around, scores! Well, you know, that was another giveaway just outside their own blue line, and a player that's, he single-handedly killed off one of the penalties, and that was Ethan Stuckless. You know, he won't be too happy with himself with that giveaway. No goal. No goal, oh, I guess it was went off a foot. In. Yeah. So a bit of a break there for the Norman North Stars. Score remains 2-0, 5.33 here to go in the opening period. Shots are 11-7 in favor of the Chiefs, and we've got a face-off just outside the blue line here, I think, of the Norman North Stars. 
But th just before that, there was a giveaway. The North Stars are victimized here with giveaway after giveaway here as the Chiefs are jumping on every giveaway of the Norman North Stars and bottling them up inside their own zone. Chiefs are playing a higher pace game here in this first period than the North Stars. They're moving quickly. They got their feet going. The North Stars are standing still here. Puck right in the center right. Center. There's one in the slot. Here's a shot. Another save. And another puck rolling, bouncing around inside the North Stars right in the crease area. And finally it's cleared back out, but not out completely. Right to the line. Here's another shot. And Coley is under siege in there as the <laughs> Yellowhead Chiefs are just coming wave after wave. Well, you know, the North Stars were holding their own the first 10 minutes of this game, <coughs> even though they had to kill off a couple of penalties. And then on that last uh, exchange there, Nepotabo had lost his stick. So not only were they under siege, but one of their players didn't have a stick. And luckily that shot went right in on Coley and he was able to, didn't really know where it was, but a whistle was, uh, was called for. Evans going on to the right side. Tibbetts dumps it right back in. Coley out to play it around the boards. On the far boards, Mowbray. Gets it on the stick of Tibbetts. And now it's the North Stars coming out. Scatch for the pass over to Linkletter. Linkletter trying to play it down low, and that's picked off. Another bad pass, and it turns it back the other way. Mowbray crosses over. He was in body. There's another shot. Coley grabs that one. 15 shots to seven. They take are getting pounded in, in there. Take a break here. It's 2 nothing for the Chiefs. You're listening to North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and thompsononline.ca. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, welcome back, everybody. Two nothing is the score. And it's not for the Norman North Stars. The Chiefs got this first period well in hand so far. Buck goes right into the corner, and Gillis is in there for the uh, Yellowhead Chiefs. Trying to work the puck out now. It's Murray gets it off the window and down the ice. He'll go for a change now as Galerno comes out, Manger and Stuckless. There's a pass right to the slot and a good shot away there was Heaney coming right through the middle there for the Yellowhead Chiefs. Yellowhead takes control at center. Now Monjay has it. Off the board, trying to feed Stuckless. There's going to be a penalty going to Yellowhead here. There's a puck along the board right behind the net. Stuckless. Finally, the Chiefs touch it, and the penalty will be handed out, and the North Stars are going on a penalty, a power play here when there's a interference call against the Yellowhead Chiefs. This will be the first power play chance here of the evening for the Norman North Stars. They've had to kill off a couple of penalties so far in this contest and have been able to do that successfully, but Richmond is going off now here for the Chiefs, and the North Stars will try to pull a little bit closer here. They're down 2-0 with three minutes to play. Bird, Sketch, and Stuckless on this power play along with uh, on the defense. They've got Ross and Galerno and the Yellowhead Chiefs coming out. And they take it down into the North Stars. And now, and uh, back comes Burrard to Stuckless. He'll lug it over the line. Stuckless play the puck across to Sketch. That bounces off his stick. He got it back again and lost it. Now it's cleared down the ice by Belcher. Gilarno back for the Norman North Stars. Pass ahead. And now it's cleared back down. North Stars forced back again. This one is Ross now going behind his own net. Got to get this power play moving here as Berard hits his own line, takes it up. Trying to get past Belinsky, and it was stripped of the puck, and here comes the Yellowhead Chiefs back down. Here's a pass out on the stick of Belinsky. Plays it back to the point, and it went too far, and 
popped out over the line. The North Stars now got to force back once again. 44 seconds to go in the power play. Yet to get a shot on here in this power play. Can't get any traction going. And it's back on the yellowhead stick and sent back down the ice again. Rambo. <laughs> trying to hit Bonger, and that one went off the boards. Yellowhead clear it back down again. North Stars forced back. Bonge now is going to come straight up the middle. There's a pass over to Pilon. Pilon trying to center the puck. Goes to the side of the yellowhead net, and uh, Jones just grabs it and hangs onto it with seven seconds to go in the yellowhead penalty and a minute nine to go here in period one. Well, Bruce, when things aren't going your way, they're really not going your way, and the North Star is not able to complete a pass and uh, just uh, looking quite disorganized. They came out pretty good. They were holding their own and uh, skating with these Chiefs, but the Chiefs suddenly, uh, you know, the key is put pressure on the North Star defense, and then things start to break down for the North Stars, and I think the Chiefs have that figured out. There's a pass. Here comes the... Uh, Chiefs once again, that one off the stick of Richmond. And it's blown down and maybe a high stick or an offside. I'm not sure, Bruce. I don't think it's a penalty. No. So the North Star is no shots in their power play. 54 seconds here to go in the opening period. Craig Geeky, the head coach of the Yellowhead Chiefs, our guest here in the second intermission, second year head coach. Tibbetts is going off right now for the uh, Chiefs. Two minutes up there on the board. So the North Stars will get their second power play here in the last couple of minutes. So say no shots in their last one. They were playing even strength for about a minute and now the North Stars get to go back on the power play. Face off down to the left side there of the goaltender, uh, Reese Jones. Puck goes back to the point, kept in. Pass over to Stuckless. Stuckless down low. Stuckless centers the puck. Nobody there. Sketch. Plays it back to the point. Back to Sketch. See if the North Stars can make anything out of this power play. They've had it. Nothing in the first power play. Now the puck is cleared out and down the ice or out to center it goes. Sketch brings it over and it's on the offside. Berard was caught inside the line. Berard uh, trying to get in there to help out his teammate Sketch. Just one of those typical one move too many there at the line and uh, forced the offside. So 15 seconds here to go. A minute 22 still with the extra attacker, but time running out here in this period. Berard to take the draw just outside the line. The puck dumped in. Puck sent around on the boards. And this is going to do it here, I think, for the first period. Puck shot out. And that's going to do it here for the first period of play. The Norman North Stars behind the Yellowhead Chiefs by a score of 2 to nothing and 15 shots to 8 in favor of the Yellowhead Chiefs after one period of play. Well, the shots were 7-6 at one point in that period, but uh, from that point on, the Chiefs kind of took control of it and uh, outshot them 8-2 to two the rest of the way, scoring a couple of goals as they did so. And uh, for the Norman North Stars, uh, being down a couple of goals, not the end of the world, but they got the infamous second period coming up here now uh, after this one, and sometimes they have struggled in that second period. Hopefully they can do a better job here tonight and uh, obviously the next goal a big one here is the North Stars trying to get back into this hockey game they will start the second period with the extra skater as Tibbet still has uh, 31 seconds to go on his uh, or pardon me about a minute and 30 seconds to go on his uh, on his penalty so in that uh, opening period there was no scoring till 12.08 uh, when Tibbetts got his ninth of the year from Mowbray and Hino making it one nothing and then uh, about two minutes later uh, Belche intercepted the puck and went in unassisted on the road for a long time. They don't play at home again now until January the 6th. The uh, Blizzard are second overall uh, with 39 points and the Flint Flon Bombers are leading the Sherwood division. We'll do our best to keep you up to, to date on scores and those contests in the Manitoba Junior Hockey League. The games that are going on tonight, the 
And the big blues are ahead of Dauphin, 1-0. Uh, Swan Valley is leading Selkirk, 2-1. Steinbeck is handling Nipawa, 4-1. And Winkler ahead of Weiwei, 1-0. Here at the C.A. Nesbitt Arena, the Norman North Stars trying to get back into it as they trail the Yellowhead Chiefs 2-0 after the first period. Two goals by the Yellowhead Chiefs. Uh, both even strength goals. Tibbets with his ninth and Belcher with his fifth of the year have the visitors up by a pair of goals. These two teams will play again tomorrow afternoon. 1.30 here at the C.A. Nesbitt Arena. They're on the road next weekend, the North Stars are. And then they're back here for their final games of this calendar year as they uh, will be back here uh, in two weeks' time. Still a minute six to go with the extra skater for the North Stars. And now with the second period, here is Bruce. Well, the North Stars down two to nothing here as we enter into the second period. The North Stars would definitely like to get something going here. The first period was a complete disaster for them and they are on their heels here and they've got a little work to do to climb out of this hole. Down two to nothing and they're back in their own zone. There's a flip pass up to Stuckless. He'll break it up on that right or the left side. He'll take it up and take it down the ice and behind the net of the Chiefs. Still coming with it there. Rubbed up against the boards there by Heaney. Here's a shot. That's from a sharp angle and that's right on Jones. Closes the short side off and makes the save. Norman North Stars had the player of the week uh, in November with uh, Dennis Scatch capturing that honor. The other side of the ledger, the Yellowhead Chiefs, they've had the defenseman of the month, uh, Ryder Richmond in October, and the forward of the month, Mackenzie Belinsky, in the month of November. Face off to the left, and North Stars win that draw there and got it back right to the point. Galarno, because they've got 21 seconds left on this power play here. See if they can cut this lead right in half would be great. There's a shot by Skatch, went right through. No trouble with Jones made that save. Back to Skatch. Skatch cuts to the middle, gets a good hard shot away there. Puck's laying there. Trying to jam that puck in there was Berard. Back it goes to Galerno. There's a shot. Oh, and they couldn't hang on to it. But they lost track of it and they blew it down. Well, a couple of great shots there by the Norman North Stars, and they came about as close as you can without putting it in. That line's been pretty good here against the Chiefs, even the two games that were down south, uh, Berard and Skatch doing a, a pretty good number. Berard, I think, getting goals in both those games down south. The North Stars only scoring five, so to get two of those is a pretty good effort, and they came close there. There's a couple of shots there by the North Stars, and now the uh, Yellowhead Chiefs are at even strength. North Stars are going to have to play a lot better in this second period than they did in the first. Or we're going to be in for a blowout here tonight. Elon gets it over the line of the Chiefs. Chiefs bring it back out. Murray takes it, puts it back inside his own line. On There's Pilon up to Murray. And he dumps it in. Jones is out of the net to play it. That's picked off as he tried to move that puck around. Parker... Picked it off, now Parker has it in behind the net. Centers the puck out, nobody there. Got it again. Puts it into the corner there and it's Nychuk. Good four check and there's Rambo there now lost it and it's played out by the Chiefs. And that forces. Now in comes the Chiefs over the line. Here they come right in, there's a shot. Good stop there by Coley. Puck cleared out to the center ice and it's gobbled up by Skatch. Skatch's in there with Murray coming in two on one. Shot! And uh, Jones came out and made the save. Skatch elected to shoot instead of pass. Here's a long pass almost on the stick there of Geeky. Would have had a good chance there, but he couldn't catch up to that loose puck. Geeky spins, turns, fires the puck in. There's a pass right out on the Geeky. Couldn't make the pass over to Belinsky. And now the North Stairs cleared out. Chiefs trying to come up on the left side. Linkletter takes it over the line. There's a shot on. That's stopped. And now the 
allows the Chiefs to come back and right up through the middle on a break. Coming right in on goal. There's a shot. And that, that might have been moved off its moorings there. And that'll stop play there with 16.44 to go in the second. And the Chiefs lead by two. Well, and there was a good opportunity there for the forward of the month of the month of November, Mackenzie Belinsky, who was in a pretty good chance. Nice feed. All of a sudden, without blink of an eye, the Chiefs are in on a two-on-one. North Stars, six shots on that last power play. That's probably the most shots I think I've seen the North Stars have on the power play. Well, they come out here with a little bit more authority here in this second period. A little more jump in their step. Coach James McKinnon, who is birthday is today would like to get an, a birthday gift here today Tom well that would be a gift that would be a gift and here comes Monje trying to find Garrick couldn't do it and that sends the Chiefs back back down they go pass out in the slot to Heaney shot stopped Monje trying to clear puck down along the boards in the corner Monje doing some Good work down there, and now the puck comes out to Stuckless. Stuckless gets it over to Galerno, and now the puck is dumped in. Comes right out to the slot, and there was Galerno taking a shot off the stick of uh, Knight, chucking up over the glass it goes. A good opportunity there, but couldn't get the shot on. For about uh, just over four minutes into the second period, the North Stars out shooting the Chiefs 7-3 so far in this period. They did have the extra skater for the first minute, but uh, as Bruce said, uh, a lot better effort here in the opening. They were pretty good in the opening few minutes of the opening of the first period as well, but things began to fall apart and they uh, seemed to have refocused themselves, which is good to see. A lot of times, we use the Norts, the Wild, and the uh, Thrashers as a measuring stick there at the top of the top of the league. But uh, this team here is no slouch either. No slouch at all, and uh, you can see why when they uh, when they uh, when they get an opportunity, they can sting quickly. And uh, talking to Geek, I never got a chance to talk to him on the air about it, but he said he's getting some good quality players coming up from the Bantam uh, side of uh, uh, there for the uh, for Yellowhead and. They're getting some good numbers in the tryouts too, so right. that is uh, that helps. That helps big time, and uh, that's probably a result of why they're up in second place in the uh, AAA division. And I think they were about fifth place last year, so they've had uh, two pretty good years. This is uh, Geeky's second year as head coach, and uh, I don't know if it's just luck or if he's doing a few different things, but uh, he's he's had some success. Now they've got a lot of returning players from last year, Bruce. I think 14 of yep. their 22 players. Uh, were with them last year, so that helps as well. They're a, a senior team out there, but uh, and they've been through the wars. They went to the second round last year, uh, ran up against Eastman, took them to five games, I think lost the last game 3-2 or something. There were a lot of one goal games in, in, in that uh, playoff series, so and, uh, so uh, they were learning. And Eastman had quite the, uh, quite the year last year, only I think they one loss. One loss course. in regulation time, yeah. yeah. Puck down in the North Stars end. Well, they're coming out. Got to the line. Parker dumps the puck in. Now the puck skips back Evans over Evans stick and down the ice it goes. And giving some chase there is Belcher. Belcher's got a goal in this game. There's Sketch trying to make the pass. There's another giveaway there. And not too much going to come of that as they've got to land on the stick of Richmond. He shot from well out. Foley dumps it off now. North Star's taking too much time inside their own line there, and that causes a little bit of problems. There's Mowbray coming up on the right side. Goes around Evans, takes a shot. That's from the short side, and that's been stopped by Coley. We're six minutes gone in the op er, second period. You're listening to the North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and thompsononline.ca. Hey? Matt Higgins over there. Matt Higgins. Uh, Higgs. Matt Higgs. 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 
Welcome back, everybody. Two nothing in favor of the uh, Yellowhead Chiefs. I'm Bruce Cameron, along with Tom O'Brien and Paul Anderson and Matt Higgs doing the commercials for us in the studio. So we got a pretty good game going now in the second. It looked like she was going south there in the first period, but the North Stars are putting in a pretty good effort here so far in the second period. But this team is quick, and there goes Mowbray, and he rang that one off the goalpost. Mowbray was right in there, and he rang it right off the goalpost. So he would have been up 3 0. Buck in the neutral zone. Here's Mowbray coming again. There's another shot, and another save by Coley. And another giveaway. There's a shot on. That one was stopped. That one came off the stick there of Woodley. And the North Stars, just as they say, and we're playing real good, turned the puck over, <laughs> and the Yellowhead Chiefs came in and awesome. fired out three quick shots. Three really quick shots, and uh, Mowbray had a couple of those. He had four assists in one of those games down south. I think the second one that he played on the 30th of October. And uh, it's pretty dangerous out there, and you can see why. There comes the North Stars out now. Pilon taking it up to the left side. A couple of Yellowhead Chiefs around him there. He collected to dump the puck in. Galarno in there. Makes the pass into Stuckless. He's given a, a bump along the boards here with Woodley. But the Chiefs come up with that puck and out they go. There's a shot. That one was right on by Balinski. And behind the net there is Geeky. Mon Jay knocked down at the line. Muir got the puck in his feet and he's given a bump by Pilon. Pilon comes up with the puck, makes a nice pass out. Gets it on to Stuckless. Stuckless dumps the puck in. PP laying it up. Walensky makes a nice move, plays it in. Geeky centers the puck right there, right on the stick of Muir. But another good save there by Coley, who's been under a little bit of fire here in the late going here. Well, as he does in most games that uh, we see, Alan Coley keeping his team in this contest. Uh, he has by far been, I think, uh, the most valuable player for the Norman North Stars to this point in the season, and uh, he's showing the same, the same form here tonight against the Chiefs. He's been taking some good fire here, not only getting shots on, but there's some quality shots being delivered his way, and he's been terrific so far, even though there's two goals past him. Could be a lot worse. Now we got here, that puck must jumped over the boards, and we'll do it all over again. They'll bring it down, drop the puck just outside the Yellowhead Chiefs blue line. Alan Coley, after the game tonight, if he completes it, will be almost a 1,000 minutes so far this season. Sonny Albert has the uh, team uh, uh, lead in that uh, 2,000 minutes. I don't think Coley will quite reach that mark, but uh, he might be on pace for about 1,800, which would put him about the same mark as, uh, as some recent uh, goalies from the North Stars as well. So uh, that's a lot of minutes. And uh, with uh, Melstead being hurt, and he might be out for a while, it was a bit of a groin in injury, so it's hard to say how long he'll be out. but. Uh, you might be seeing a lot of action here over the next couple of weeks. Sonny Albert was uh, in that in those uh, three win years. Yes, 2005-2006 uh, <laughs> was when he played uh, 2,000 minutes. He took a lot of, a lot of. I think that was a 40 game schedule back then too. So he took a lot of shots in those games for sure. He played 2,000 out of 2,400 minutes. No. I, I don't even know who the other goalie was because he was no. never in. So. No, nobody, nobody <laughs> remembers the backup goalie. Yeah. Yeah, he never got much ice time. Another icing on the play, and that'll bring it back. This one's going against the North Stars. 11.07 to go here in the period two. And yeah. the North Stars down two to nothing. Justin Pollock uh, was uh, up there as well uh, for the North Stars, uh, career leader, and uh, pretty good goaltender there as well. And playing down with the University of Manitoba. Went out to uh, play with the Victoria Royals, and yeah. Junior, and uh, Moose Jaw. Moose John in Victoria and then off to uh, university. So he's doing all right. Still there today. There's Berard for the Norman North Stars. Can't get out. There's a pass out. There's a finally they got that puck in there. And the Yellowhead Chiefs finally get one past Coley. Well, and that makes it 3 nothing here. And 
Johnson looks like the goal scorer, Tom, on that goal. Johnson had a couple of goals down there in uh, Shoal Lake as well when the North Stars were visiting. And he's uh, it's been a thorn in the North Stars' side all three games. He has a third goal here and has his team up 3 nothing. And that's his ninth goal of the season. So he's one of those guys you don't want left lingering around in front of your net. And he made the North Stars pay dearly for that. Puck down behind the Chiefs net. And they're getting a bit of room here to move. And here they come again. There's a good hit. The crowd got on their feet there. It's taken in along the boards there was Belcher. There's Vonjay trying to get away. Now he's got a high stick. There's going to be a penalty now. He's got a little bit of a two-on-one. Now he's coming in from the short side. No way you're getting past Jones with that shot. And there's going to be a high sticking penalty, I believe, on uh, on the Yellowhead Chief, who got a stick up on Vonjay. So North Stars will be going on the power play. So Johnson from Mentuck is the official scoring on the third goal by the Yellowhead Chiefs. They're up 3 nothing here, just about uh, halfway through this hockey game, 10-11 to play here in the second period. And the North Stars will have their third power play of this game. They had six shots in the last one, most of, most of those in the last minute. I know now with it coming in. Here's Heino getting in, and he tried to toe drag it, and a good save by Coley. Stayed right with him to make that save. There's a four minute penalty up there, and it would have been a shorthanded goal for the Yellowhead Chiefs, but a good save by Coley. So North Star's got a good chance here now, Tom. Four minutes to work on this power play. Well, it's about as uh, good an opportunity as you're going to get here, and we'll see what the North Stars can do. Hopefully, they can carry on from their last power play. So Galerno's out there on the power play. Berard, Stuckless, Ross, and Sketch. Stuckless sends a long pass, jumps over Sketch's stick. That one goes right down and on the net. And Jones will freeze it right there. So a head contact penalty to Heapy has the Norman North Stars looking at a four minute penalty here. Four minute power play. They've had two other chances so far in this game. Not been able to get the puck past Jones. Maybe this will be the one. Bird sketch. Linkletter now on the power play. Galerno and Ross on the point. That one comes back to Ross. He'll tee it up. There's a shot. That one didn't make it through. Linkletter. Trying to fight off the hard checking of the Yellowhead Chiefs. There's a pass to Sketch and a quick shot and a quick move there by Jones to make the save. Linklater back to goes to Ross. Back to Linklater. He'll play it into Berard. Look over Sketch. Couldn't find him in the slot. Now the puck is gobbled up and sent down the ice. 2.38 to go on this power play for the Norman North Stars. 8.45 left to go in the second. Linklater hits the brakes. He got it over the line of the Chiefs. And now it's Geeky gets it up onto the stick of Belinsky. Belinsky takes the shot, looked for the screen, went high and went wide on that shot. Linklater coming up the right side, given a bump there by Belinsky. Comes up with the puck, dumps it in. Gonna go for some changes here as now Parker and Murray coming on along with Monjay. The puck is sent all the way down. The North Stars are back behind their own net setting up this power play. Under two minutes to go in this power play for the North Stars. And here comes Monjay over his own blue line. And he hits center. They get the puck over, over to Parker. Parker takes a look. Tried to fire it in there and that went off the stick of Mentuck. Now oh, Mentuck picks up that loose puck and he'll casually take it down the ice. Get a shot on from well out. Parker. Taking it up. Hits the line. He's going over on the right side. He gets it over. That was Murray. 
Back to Parker. Parker shots off a stick, goes high into the air, and looks like that's going over the boards. And that'll play with 108 to go on the power play and 719 left in the second period. Well, with almost three quarters of this penalty over, you have to give the edge and the uh, nod to the Yellowhead Chiefs so far. They've only allowed one shot. North Stars uh, had to make, uh, almost gave up a goal there in the opening couple seconds of this uh, penalty, uh, shorthanded almost. North Stars have been stung six times so far this season on the shorthanded situation. Scatch. Back to Burrard, back to Scatch. Back to Burrard. Burrard trying to pass it across there to Linkletter, and he couldn't get that pass through. Now it's Scatch back to the point. Galerno. Garrick. Garrick pinches in, got it in, but it's on the stick of a uh, Chief, and it's cleared all the way down the ice. Foley plays it high, though, as he trying to get the uh, Chiefs off balance here a little bit. Up the link letter, link letter. Being watched there by Heaney. Back to Galerno. Back to Burrard. He tries to make the pass to Sketch into his skates, and it's taken out here by the Chiefs. Muir got it over the line. There's a shot taken, and another shot there by Mowbray. And now the Chiefs got their man on. They're even strength. Good penalty kill by the Chiefs. And here's Sketch. Sketch get a good shot away and a good stop. Here's a pass out. That's with a great shot. Jones with a nice save. Let's clear it back out again. There's Mowbray again, getting his chances. Puck right there as they gobbled up that loose puck there by Tibbetts. Couldn't make it go, though. And now the North Stars will gobble up a loose puck. Take it up over center. Mowbray gets it in, and our uh, Rambo gets it in. Murray pinching in, plays it in behind the net. Nychuk. For the Chiefs to Mowbray. Mowbray taken up along the boards by Murray. Now it's played behind the net and it's Nychuk to Mowbray. Mowbray coming up on the right side. Pass it out in the slot. And he was looking for Hino and he wasn't there. Monge plays it down into the corner there. The Patabo down there. Now it's Manger looking to make the centering pass. He does, and it's right on the stick there of Gillies, and he takes it up, and down the ice it goes. And that's icing called against the Yellowhead Chiefs. Just under five minutes to go here in the second. You're listening to North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and thompsononline.ca. Well, welcome back. 3-0 still in favor of the Yellowhead Chiefs with 4.29 to go here in the second period. There's a pass that was headed for the stick of Stuckless, went past him all the way down the ice, and that'll be icing again against the Norman North Stars. We'll have another guest in the second intermission. It's an interview we did a little earlier this week with uh, Greg Kreitzer, who is head coach of the Flimflon Bantam AA team. Uh, it's not a team that existed last year, Bruce, so we caught up to him and just Asked him how it's going and uh, what the future looks like and why he's doing that. And hopefully so, he can send some players our way in the future. Well, that is the hope, and we did <laughs> ask him that question. <laughs> Looking forward to that, the second intermission. Puck just over the line and dumped in. Gilly's getting that puck in deep. Of course, the North Star is back once again inside their own blue line now, finally coming out. Here's Monjay with a good move there. Monjay cutting in from a bad angle. His backhand is wide of the Yellowhead Chiefs net. Richmond, player of the week, as Tom said earlier, coming up, makes the pass. That one went past and down the ice. No icing, though. 
Here's a long pass up to Murray. Murray cuts to the middle, getting this, going to get a good shot away there. There's a shot, and good stop there by Jones. And Murray had a great opportunity there, just him and Jones. But Jones won that battle. And there's another shot on, and that one was on Coley, and another save. Looks like his 31st of the game. Murray just sitting there by the Yellowhead Chief blue line, able to get that feed and take it in, made a nice move to the middle, and then the rebound came right back out to uh, Howard, and unfortunately it was kind of in his uh, skates. If he had been able to get a shot away, he had a lot of empty net to shoot at. Puck will drop to the right side of Alan Coley, and uh, Yellowhead Chiefs won the draw and went right past their defenseman, Heapy. Now Johnson coming up. Tallied once tonight. Got the puck in deep. Link Leonard trying to chip it out. That got to the to the boards, but and Heapy keeps it in. Now the North Stars clip chip it down. And the Chiefs back inside their own line. On that puck is Belcher now. He's got Johnson. Give it to Johnson. He just directed it on net and was steered away easily there by Coley. Chiefs trying to center the puck. Couldn't get a stick on it. It was Johnson there. And now he tracks it down in the corner. Another pass out. Puck rolls in. Another backhand shot on there. That was by Belcher. North Stars try to flip the puck high out and out. And they finally do. That was touched by a high stick, though. And that'll stop play with 2.18 to go here in the second. And the score remains 3-0 for the Chiefs. You're listening to North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and thompsononline.ca. Well, welcome back, everybody. 3 nothing is the score. Chiefs in full control here in the third, or in the second, rather. 2-11 to go here. Puck cleared down the ice, right down, and Garrick has to go track it down behind his own net. Flips a pass across. Gets it on the stick there. Rambo, he got it down. Bunch of Guggenheim B right down there, uh, working on that there in the corner. On the, on the, along the boards. And now the puck is out. And now it's going to be a penalty given out here. And it looks like this is going to be a, like a holding call here. I don't know who he fingered for that, though, Tom. Did you get who he Well, it, not sure if it's going against that? the North Stars or not. Uh, Garrick, I think, was uh, called for that. There he goes, yep. You know, other than a few uh, breakdowns there, the last... Uh, chunk of that first period and a few little breakdowns here where the Chiefs have been able to uh, muster some pretty good pressure. The North Stars have played a pretty good game of hockey overall and uh, they just can't uh, get anything past Jones unfortunately. Yeah. And the Chiefs setting up this power play here. North Stars clear it and Richmond force all the way down. Stuckless giving chase. Good hustle by Stuckless getting down there. Comes up with the puck for a split second and lost control of it. And the Chiefs managed to bring it out. Good work by Stuckless. He tracked it down and shot it back in. You know, he had a really good penalty kill uh, in that first period, too. He single-handedly almost killed off the entire two minutes. Yes, he's having a good, good game tonight, especially in the penalty killing area, forcing the uh, Yellowhead Chiefs. There's the Chiefs back. That one's on the stick there of Nick Richmond. There's the pass right in the slot. Shot on there and a good save off Muir. And he'll smother it there, that's Coley, and get a stoppage. 41.3 seconds left to go here in this period. Excellent anticipation by Coley as he was expecting that pass or that shot almost exactly where it ended up and he was ready for it, made the save, smothered it up and forced the face off. And Boy, if you can keep those uh, rebounds to a minimum, that sure helps. The North Star has given up 35 shots so far in this game, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually uh, hasn't felt like, you know, that much 
overall. So uh, not a lot of second and third chances uh, by the Chiefs. There's the Chiefs coming again. There's a shot, puck. But there is there. a second chance, and what happens? In the net. So a power play goal here with 27 seconds to go. The Chiefs scoring two goals in the opening period and now notching another two here in the second period. That's the first power play goal of this game and uh, four nothing is now the score. Our man North Stars uh, just uh, not quite at the same caliber as these Yellowhead Chiefs. The Chiefs uh, 32 points I think uh, so far this season and having a good campaign. Looks like Tibbetts getting the goal. And looks like his, uh, yeah, it's the second goal of the game for Tibbetts. And that looks like his 10th of the season for Tibbetts. There's the time winding down on the clock here as the North Stars will down two to nothing after one. They find themselves down four nothing after two. Well, they are down 4 nothing there. Uh, Tibbetts, the last goal scorer for the Chiefs, his 10th of the year and second of the game from Hino and Nychuk making it 4 nothing. Uh, Johnson had his ninth of the year from Mentuck earlier in that period, and then there was a couple of goals in the opening period. Tibbetts got things going for Mowbray and Hino, and uh, Belcher had an unassisted goal in that opening period as well. The North Stars are 0 for 3 on the power play, including a four minute chance that they had in the second period. On the other side of the ledger, the Chiefs are now 1 for 3, and shots in that period were 22 to 12 in favor of the Yellowhead Chiefs, 37 20 overall in this game. We're in the second intermission. The Norman North Stars got a pretty good hole to dig themselves out of now as they're down 4. everybody we're a minute into the third we apologize for that the interview went was so good we stayed on a little <laughs> bit longer but that's okay we got uh, North Stars down here for nothing in the third we're looking to get back in it here and there's 1839 left to go here in the third so there is a bit of time to climb back in but they're up against a formidable opponent with the second place Yellowhead Chiefs no doubt about that here comes Burrard up the right side Crosses the line, drops it back to Rambo. Rambo along the boards, trying to center it, and it's picked off and sent down the ice. Chiefs are got a man in the penalty box, I should add, and the uh, North Stars are on the power play. 50 seconds left to go in that penalty. Dearly love to get a goal here and get 
something going, and there's a pass that went awry, and now that's going to cause an, uh, an icing, and that'll bring it all the way back into the North Stars' end of the ring. A little bit unfortunate there. Uh, Galarno was moving that puck out and really wasn't under any pressure, but just led the uh, pass a little too far, and it went the length of the ice and forced the face off down back in the North Star zone here. Still 44 seconds to play with the extra attacker, but time is running out. Rambo to take the draw to the left side. Loses the draw. Mombre. Cut it on his stick right now. Cuts to the middle and he lost it. And now it's Manger coming back. Manger with Murray. Puck goes down in the corner. Murray trying to play the puck out and goes back. Garrick with the shot. That one goes right in onto the Jones and Jones will smother it right there in the blue paint. Pretty good chance there for the North Stars. That puck was just sitting there. Nobody was able to get to it. Came out to the blue line and then was able, to, the North Stars able to keep it in at the blue line and brought it back in and forced Jones to cover up there. Probably the best chance the North Stars have had in some time in this hockey game. They're still looking for their first goal. Still 17 seconds to go on their manpower advantage. There's the draw back to Garrick. Garrick with the shot. That hit a stick. The puck was laying there. And uh, much Guggen up could not get a handle on it. Puck in the, on the near boards. There's a shot by Linkletter, and it uh, looks like the Chiefs get their man back on. 17-17 uh, to go here in the third. Our stars are 0 for 4 now with the extra skater. On the other side of it, the Chiefs are 1 for 3 on the power play. Face off to the left side of Reese Jones. But Guggenop wins that draw. Puck along the near boards. Link later. Wait for it to come back. Comes back. His shot is well wider than that. Now the puck is sent down the ice, and that'll send Link later back after it. And he's been chased there by Heaney. Evans was up the Stuckless. Puck in behind the North Stars net. On the stick there of Lemoyne. And now it's gobbled up there by Gillies. He'll make the pass across. And Nychuk will send it over. He got it on the Richmond, plays it out in the slot. There's a shot and they score. Well, just as quick as that, uh, didn't look very dangerous as it was unfolding, but a nice uh, shot there right out front to, I think, Tibbetts. I think that's, uh, was it got it? Tibbetts or Lemoyne? Oh, maybe Lemoyne. And uh, makes it 5 nothing here, 16-21 to go in the third period. And really, uh, the Yellow Chiefs this game well in hand now for them. And Lemoyne looks like his fourth of the season. Getting that one. So the Chiefs now well in the driver's seat here with 16 minutes to go here in the third. That puck jumps over the glass right there at the penalty box area, so they'll drop the puck. Nychuk picking up his second assist of the game. Richmond uh, also figuring in the scoring on that one. Lemoyne, five nothing now. Tibbetts has a pair. Johnson and Belcher, the other goal scorers for the Chiefs. Buck up the left side, all the way down. Out of the net is the uh, is Coley. Couldn't clear it. Chiefs centered a puck there. To Mentuck, but he wasn't there to pick that puck up. Puck cleared down into the Yellowhead Chief zone and back for it would be Woodley. Back behind his own net. He just lifts one high. Mentuck. Mentuck takes it down in the corner, being watched by Garrick. Puck goes on the far side as Belcher. But North Stars come up with it, and there's Sketch. Sketch getting to the middle there. Trying to barge in there, but the puck rolled in, and Jones smothered it there with 15.06 to go here in the third. If he 
you consider the two Winnipeg teams and the Yellow have the top three teams in this league, the good news for the North Stars is after this weekend, they only have two more games remaining against any of those teams. Uh, one against the Wild down the middle of January and then at the end of January against the Thrashers. So maybe the schedule gets a little easier for the North Stars the rest of the way. Maybe. Maybe. Here comes the Chiefs. Tibbets plays it in at, on to Garrett. Garrett can play on the net, being watched there by Mowbray as he plays it around. Now it's Galerno off the boards. He couldn't clear it. Garrett plays it over to Stuckless. Stuckless going to play it out in the middle there to Manger, but the Chiefs pick it off. Now here's a pass to Stuckless coming through the middle, up through center. Got over the blue line of the Chiefs and then lost control of the puck. Longe rubs out Heino on the far boards. Now Heino gains the line, trying to get a shot away, couldn't do it as Mowbray there was stripped of the puck in the last minute. Now it's Longe come back the other way. Didn't have enough time to fire the puck. There's a shot by Rambo and that didn't quite make it through. There's a long high pass. And there's a shot on. That's stopped there by Coley. Up on there is Geeky. In behind the net. Battling with Garrick. Muir up there as well. Now it's the North Stars trying to come out. They finally do. Down the ice it goes. And it's Heapy back for it. Heapy banks it off the boards. Evans. Trying to hit Burrard, that went over his stick. Went on the stick of Murray. Murray coming in. His shots off the leg of their captain there and into the corner was Belinsky. Now the puck is cleared out and Murray clears, jump, drives it right back in. There's a long pass up. Muchugugunap was up on that play. Now it's played around the boards. Here's a centering pass trying to get it on the geeky stick. And now it's Alex Murray coming back on the uh, left side. Makes a pass over to Burrard. Burrard trying to catch up to the puck there as he's been watched there by Nychuk. And here's Polinski. Cutting up through the middle with Geeky. Geeky takes the shot. That one's on. And Coley will freeze it right there. 12.33 now to play in the third period. 5 nothing for the Chiefs. You're listening to North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and ThompsonOnline.ca. Well, welcome back. 5 nothing is the score in favor of the Yellowhead Chiefs. 40 shots to 27 in their favor as well. 12.05 to go in the third. Here's a centering pass as the North Stars cooped up inside their own blue line. Now the puck is out and it's all the way down and the Chiefs are coming back up. Nychuk makes a nice pass through the middle there on the stick of Gillis who shot the puck high and off the glass. Here's the pass, good shot on there, right on, a good stop there as Heaney gets a good shot away, but Coley making another good save for the Norman North Stars. North Stars are on the road next weekend. They play the Southwest Cougars down in Surris on Friday night, and then they have a pair of games in Swan River against the Parkland Rangers. And uh, hopefully uh, the North Stars can win their second game on the road, uh, maybe even their second and third on that road swing. North Stars went off to a good Start last week, Tom, with a victory in down the Steinbach. Over the Eastman selects only to get wasted the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 18 nothing. I don't know. That was uh, that would be a hard game, I think, all around. Win and lose, I think that would be a hard game to be part of. Well, maybe we can ask some of those tough questions to uh, James Buchanan. When he comes up at the end of the game, if he comes up, I'm assuming he's going to come up. It gets tougher to be on the losing end than it, it is on the winning it end. It certainly is. 
Buck down inside the line. There's a shot by Stuckless right in the slot. Broke his stick on the play. Shot the puck wide. Now the puck goes over the boards inside the bench of the Yellowhead Chiefs. That stops the clock at 10.50. Other action going on in the uh, AAA Lidge, uh, Midget, or Midget League. Uh, Central Plains having no trouble uh, routing the Southwest Cougars. That game in the third, and I think 8-1 or 9-1 is the score there. 2-1, uh, 2-2 uh, two -two, rather, 3-2, sorry. Brandon leading Interlake, and Pemna Valley's ahead of Kenora, 2-1. Up down low, in behind the North Stars, or the uh, Chiefs net. Hino spinning away from a check. And the Chiefs find a little room here, going up through the middle. Are picked off by Evans. He couldn't get it in deep enough there. Nice check. Gives it off to Hino. Hino goes around Parker, goes into slot. Puts the puck right out there under the stick of Tibbetts, but he couldn't get a good shot away. And what he got on was a good stop there by Coley. Yellowhead Chiefs, uh, second place, as we say, right now in the AAA Midget League. They're maybe got a little bit of thoughts of a league championship. They've been league champions a couple of times before, back in 88, 89, their first year in the league, Bruce. They were league champions, if you can believe it, and then again in 2002, 2003. Well, when you want a history there, I guess the North Stars beat these guys. It was 95 when they won their championship. It was against the Yellowhead Chiefs. That's true. Back then, and yeah, it was... Uh, Back in the good old days. Back in the good old days, Tom. Haven't yeah. seen those days uh, no. since. So. No. What a team they had. There comes Yellowhead. There's the backhand pass over. That one was on the stick there of Evans. And behind the net is uh, Parker. Playing up, pinching in along the boards there is the captain of this team there. And now looking for a loose puck there is Mowbray. Having a solid game for the Chiefs tonight. Getting scoring opportunities. No goals, but getting lots of chances. Coming up the right side here is Linkletter. Who a little toe drag there. Was bumped off the puck there, and the puck is recovered there by Muir. And he lost it. There's a low shot. There's Monje with a backhand shot. No trouble for Jones to get over there to make that save. And back come the... Chiefs here coming up on the play. There was uh, Geeky getting the shot away. Good stop by Coley. There's Geeky once again. Body up by Galarno. There's Pilon with a stick, without a stick there behind the net. He's without a stick because Coley lost his stick, so Pilon gave him his. Oh, that's uh, what's going on there. Now it's Monje over the line. Stuckless. Gets it to his stick. There's a pass back to Monge, but it went on net, and there's another stop there by Jones. Score remains 5 0 for the Chiefs, 8 32 to play. You're listening to the Norman North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and ThompsonOnline.ca. Well, welcome back. 5-0 Yellowhead Chiefs leading the Norman North Stars. 43-31 shots on goal. And here's Garrick coming up on the left side. And he got it to Rambo and he couldn't get the shot off. Got it tied up in his skates. Couldn't quite get that good shot away as Chiefs were all over him. Heaney lost control of it. Now it's... Murray coming in, takes a look. He was going high, and he whistled that puck up off the, uh, might have hit a piece of the net and went uh, up off, over the boards and had a play. Certainly sounded like it hit a bit of that net as I uh, heard a clank. Just a few further updates in the AAA League. Uh, it's now a final. The Central Plains Capitals down in Southwest 8-1. Brandon is well in hand now against Interlake 6-2. And Pemina Valley, the team that we'll see in here in a couple of weeks, is ahead of Kenora 4-3, those games in the third. Well, 
North Stars watch Guggenop. Gets it over to Sketch. Sketch a shot. It was going up the top corner, but that was gobbled up there by Jones. And it is the Christmas season, Bruce, so if you're out there drinking and driving and you don't want to take any chances, Operation Red Nose is in operation tonight and most weekends through the Christmas season. 7788111, the number to call to get you and your car home safe. That's a great program. That is fantastic. And here comes the Yellowhead Chiefs. Speaking of fantastic, and they are fantastic tonight, leading 5 nothing. They've had no trouble with the North Stars tonight. And they can't find the answers to Reese Jones. Been just solid in net so far. Puck down in the North Stars end. Back it goes to Nychak. Slides the pass across. Weak shot goes right in. Coley smothers it there. Takes no chances. Yellowhead Chiefs have had five shots so far in this period after registering 37 in the first two periods. Unfortunately for the North Stars, the first shot that the Chiefs took on net was a goal. And uh, the Chiefs, two goals in first, two in the second, one now in the third. 6.51 to play, and they're up 5 nothing. Pucks dropped inside the line of the North Stars. Parker gets it over to Galerno. He gets it to Sketch. Now it's Monje coming up. Monje takes a look, going low, good stop there. Stuckless got the rebound, They're trying to get it out in the slot area. Galarno waiting out there for the pass. Monje trying to fight off the tough checking there of Heapy. And now the Chiefs find a bit of room, out they go. Coming down with Mowbray down on that side, right in the slot, and oh, good chance there, but stopped. And back comes Stuckless. Stuckless, good move, he's in there. And down goes the goaltender and a penalty coming up. And the goaltender, Jones, is down on the play. So we'll see what's going on here. Nice play by Stuckless. I think he actually drew a penalty. Now we'll see if anything further goes on, but I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, anything will go against the North Stars. It was, uh, is part of the play. Ethan Stuckless, uh, back and forth action, taking that pass and working it on in. Boy, he had a great chance earlier on too, uh, a couple of minutes ago. And he's uh, had some couple of really good power or penalty kills. And Jones is still down there. We might say see Jeremy Dukovic before this game is out. Playing with the North Stars last year. He played his one year of Bantam hockey down in uh, the Yellowhead area as well. And then he came up here and he was playing uh, for the North Stars. And his family moved back down to Fox Warren, I think it was, they mentioned. And he's with the Yellowhead Chiefs this year. So he's just out there, uh, just kind of doing a few stretches. Uh, Jones still down, hasn't really moved down there too much, Bruce. Well, he's starting to get up now, but Stuckles would buy him there and he was he came out and he kind of Kind of ran into each other. Yeah. Yeah. Six minutes even on the time clock. Two minutes now for the North Stars. This will be power play chance number five. North Stars score about one every five or six times with the extra skater. So they're getting close to being due, Bruce. It'd be nice to see them just kind of break that goose egg. Uh, they've had a few shutouts this year, and you always yeah. like to see at least one goal. You just feel better. Yeah. That's what it's all about at this stage of the game. It's pretty hard pressed to climb back five <laughs> goals against a team that skates as well as this uh, yellow hit team. That's for I sure. I agree. There's Stuckless with it now. He's being watched uh, there by Heapy as he takes it around behind the net. Gets it back to Galerno. Pass it in to Sketch. Back to Galerno. Galerno taking it in, looking to go to Berard. Or it goes back to Sketch. Berard in the slot. Now he's behind the net, Burrard. Nobody in the slot right now, and now the puck is picked off and back comes the Chiefs. Malinsky takes the shot, kicked out by Coley. No problem with that save. There's Geeky with it. He'll backhand the puck in, but it's Burrard who got it for the Norman North Stars. Burrard hits the blue line, takes it down. Circles behind the goal. Right there, passed it out with a nice backhand pass to Monje, and he finishes it. Well, you know, I think there's uh, 
no better person to score a goal for the Norman North Stars than Monje. He uh, works hard every game. If he had 30 more pounds, he would be a dominant player in this league, but he doesn't uh, ever give up. He never backs down from anybody, and he notches his fourth of the year, first of the game here for the Norman North Stars on the power play, and it's now 5-1 with 5-0-2 to play here in the third period. So Manje breaks the goose egg there, and he had the goaltender going with the play, and uh, he just dropped that puck right on the stick of Manje, and he finished it nicely. So now it's 5-1. Now we got a little pushy and shoving down there as Leak letter right in the middle of it all. You know, there'd be penalties coming out of this scrum. So Skatch and Berard getting assists on that goal. And they have been uh, pretty good against the Yellowhead Chiefs so far this, this year, even though the North Stars haven't had any wins against the Chiefs. Uh, you can't fault that line. They've been working hard every game. Some offsetting penalties here now with 4.36 to play in this period. And... Uh, don't want anything to get out of hand at this point. The game 5-1, unless something really changes. Bonjay's fourth goal of the season there broke the uh, shutout, Tom. Well, there you go. Nice to see. We were just saying it's nice to score and not get shut out, and that's exactly what happened, Bonjay scoring. And here comes the Yellowhead Chiefs back with a shot on. That was... 4.25 now to play here in the third period. 5-1 is the score for the Chiefs. You're listening to North Star Hockey on the Arctic Radio Network and thompsononline.ca. Okay, we'll talk about it after. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. 5-1 with four minutes to go here in the third. Yellowhead Chiefs leading. Sitting quite comfortable on that lead. Pluck, uh, puck is sent all the way down. Galerno in behind his own net. Oh, there was a pass and a deflected off the leg right on Coley. Coley had to be sharp there. Didn't see that coming. Here's Parker coming up, bodied along the boards heavily there by Mowbray. Here's Rambo at the line, got it over the line, then lost it. Here comes back Mowbray, come back the other way. Twisting and turning, getting in there, puts it into the slot, and they got a shot away, and another save by Coley there, and getting that shot off there was uh, Lemoyne. North Stars. Stuckless, up through center. He's got Monje with him and Rambo. Puck goes down into the corner of the Chiefs. Chiefs coming back, there's a pass. Right on the stick of Gillies. Plays it around, there's Ross. That was picked off. Sends it back to Nychuk. Nychuk looking for we're to get that one through, and that was deflected away. He tried to blast it through, and now it's North Stars trying to get some traction inside their own line here and get out of there. There's Alex Murray over there battling against Heaney along the boards. Puck goes back to Nychuk at the point. He gets a shot on, no problem with, for the save for Coley. Puck in the corner. Heaney wins the battle there, brings it out. Now it's Ross spitting away from a check, gives it to Burrard. Burrard makes a long pass up, now it's on Alex Murray. Knocked down on the play. Nychuk brought it up. Much of Guggenhop gets it over to Burrard, here's the shot. And that one is on, and Jones makes the save. 
Norman Northstar is on the road next week, and uh, the Don McLean Bantam Tournament is here in town next week. Bruce used to be pretty heavily involved in that. Uh, I remember really the first time you and I ever worked together. You came down to the radio station one day and said, I think this radio station should be covering this a little bit better. And so we kind of hung out together for that weekend, and that was really the first time. We actually didn't know we lived across the street from each other. Didn't even time. know that. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was a good story. <laughs> good neighbors. I seen you walking down the street there. I said, what are you doing over here? I live here. Oh, I just... <laughs> what number you said. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, and you kind of looked at me funny. Come yeah. <laughs> Didn't even know you lived there. How about that? Yeah. Wasn't very tentative then, eh? <laughs> oh, they were the good old days. Here's Scatch now with it. Scatch gets to the blue line. Spins away from a check. Trying to get it over to Link Leonard, and he's dropped to the ice over there by Johnson. Closing in on one minute to go here in this third period. There's a shot there. That one is on. That was by Stuckless. Puck sent out. Under a minute to go here now in the third. Johnson. Fires a shot in. That's handled by Coley. Gives it to Garrick. Being watched by Belinsky. Mange trying to make the pass over. That one is picked off. There's Belinsky with it. His shot is low and wide. Muir with it. Trying to make a backhand pass. Now it's North Star is coming back. Stuckless and Mange. Mange with a hard shot. Stuckless with the rebound. Puck laying there. And a, no chance there. Jones. Get a stick on and hangs on with 22.3 seconds to go here in the third. I have to admit the Norman North Stars have had some close chances uh, offensively, just not quite where they need to be and uh, at the moment they need to be there. But uh, Stuckless and Monje have had a little magic going here this evening as well. And uh, they do have one goal, Monje does, but uh, nothing on that one. Puck rolls in. Puck laying there. <laughs> Crowd got a little excited. Looks like the North Stars is going to get their second. But it's cleared out. That gives Muir a bit of room. Couldn't get in there. It was stopped. Puck in behind the Norman North Star net. And that's going to pretty well do it for this game. And the North Stars are going to have to take this, this one on the chin as they lose 5-1 to one, as they were outshot 50-43 to 43 in the hockey game. Well, the uh, Norman North Stars drop another one here, their 19th of the season. Uh, they remain at nine points so far after 24 games. For the Yellowhead Chiefs, they get their 15th win of the year. They now have 34 points, two back of the Winnipeg Wild who are not playing uh, officially uh, this weekend. They're down at a tournament right now and uh, the Wild will remain with one game in hand uh, on the Yellowhead Chiefs, so the Chiefs keeping it close, but uh, they did what they had to do here tonight. Uh, really, uh, they never uh, were in any sort of trouble in this game. Uh, there was a few moments when they looked kind of